I'm going to show you how to cook a loin of bacon. For me, it's one of the best value, succulent, delicious cuts you can actually do. And when you cook it, you can make so many dishes from it, like in pasta, in sandwiches, absolutely gorgeous. So it is multi-use. So this is our quality assured board via Irish loin of bacon here. We have two ways of cooking it. First of all, we boil it in some water for 20 minutes per pound. Now you can add different vegetables into that, like a carrot, an onion, a celery, leek, even some peppercorns or a bay leaf, and just an onion is lovely. And with this beautiful cooking liquor, you can make it into a soup, or even when you're making risotto, full of flavor. So don't waste that. Now we've cooked this for 20 minutes per pound, so this is ready. Be careful when you're lifting this out, just using the tongs, and then just lift it onto the tray. So, we're going to make up a nice glaze, but first of all, we have to score it just with some kitchen paper, pat dry the actual skin on it. And then with a good sharp knife, we're going to score it using the point of the knife. And then just turn your tray around, making small little incisions. You're not looking to score into the actual flesh, but that you get the skin nicely scored. So for a simple glaze, this is a really simple glaze. We're going to use one spoonful of Derramara sugar, two of mustard, and it's just some regular mustard, and then a good pinch of cloves. But you can use marmalade, apricot jam, you know, even honey and soy is delicious in this. That's one of these dishes that you can make, keeps in your fridge for a few days, so it's well worth doing it. Mix it all together, and what you do is just smear just the top of the actual skin with the glaze here. So you could use a little bit of honey or soya, marmalade, apricot, jam is delicious, and also some uh, red currant jelly is delicious as a glaze. So just smear this all over. Now, so the first stage of cooking this was in the water. The next stage is in the oven at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Now this is what it looks like after 20 minutes, beautifully and caramelized. The smells are fantastic from the cloves and the brown sugar and the mustard. So the most important thing about this, don't be tempted to slice it straight away. You must let it rest, okay? And what that means is that all the beautiful juices will just go back into the meat. That's very, very important. So what I'm gonna show you now is just a very simple mash. So it's just using some peas. Cook the peas in a saucepan of oil and water for two to three minutes until they're nice and soft and tender. And we have some quality assured Irish potatoes, which have just beautifully steamed. We're gonna mash these, put this into our bowl. And then you can use a handheld masher or else a potato ricer if you have one. So just press it nice and gently so you get no lumps in it. Lovely floury potatoes. Now the bacon is cooked in the water and just finished off and glazed just to caramelize the sugar in the oven. Now, that's ready. So you just bring the peas to the boil, switch them off, and just go over to the sink, and then just drain it off. That technique is known as blanching. Put them back into the pot, and then we're gonna add in some butter and some milk, and that's gonna go into our mash. We're gonna blend it. So a little bit of milk and some butter. Just give this a good stir. Just a pinch of salt and some black pepper. Now, so we're gonna make a puree. Switch it off, and just with the handheld hand blender, and just simply blend it. Just take your time when you're doing this. Beautiful color on the peas. Try and keep a little bit of texture if you can. And just hold it away from you, because you can get skite a little bit. That's good. And then with our pea puree, this is gonna go into our mash. and then just mix it all together to combine it. Lovely soft mash here. So this is our quality assured Irish potatoes. Look at the color of that, isn't that beautiful? That's it, great color and nice soft potatoes. So, we've left our line of bacon glaze. We're going to carve it now. This shape is very easy to carve. So just with the point of this, just we're gonna slice two nice thick slices of it and it's really succulent. You get that from boiling it. So you use the exact same principle for the ham fillet, but this makes it really easy to carve, so it does. 
the loin of bacon. Arrange two slices on the plate. And in a separate saucepan, we've just cooked some sliced leeks or whatever kind of seasonal vegetables. Arrange this just to the side of the glazed bacon and then a good spoonful of mash. Lovely colour on the plate. And there you have it, absolutely. A very versatile, and of course with all the leftovers you can use this, you know, on pasta, for sandwiches. It's so versatile and it keeps, which is the secret to it. But it's a beautiful dish. It's the glazed line of bacon. Check out the full recipe on boardbia.ie. Mix 225 grams of cooked macaroni with a carton of creme fraiche with two large egg yolks and a teaspoonful of Dijon style mustard. Fold in some chopped ham with some cherry tomatoes and grated cheese. The ham could be a leftover loin or from a packet of quality assured cooked ham. Bake at 180 degrees in an oven proof dish for 15 to 20 minutes until bubbling and golden and serve with a green salad. Remember for peace of mind, look out for the board be a quality mark when shopping.